So in 1998, we had this idea to go and put a live web camera on a waterhole somewhere in the Sabi Sands next to the Kruger National Park. And I approached just about every single landowner and everybody thought I was completely crazy until I met Yuri and Papa Mormon. Graham presented the idea of a live camera uh, in the bush and also said that many other people had turned them down on this particular idea. We thought it was definitely a fun idea and a worthwhile thing to experiment. I can imagine to some of my neighbours and competitors might have seemed a rather weird and alien thing in 98. From our point of view it didn't seem like there was much to lose and there was much to gain and it immediately became a runaway success. And it gave people all around the world the opportunity to watch a little piece of Africa, day and night, to watch the comings and goings of the animals and to feel a connection for some people to an old home country or to other people to touch a far away beautiful place. Back in 1998, it was the very early stages of the internet. And all we were able to do was to get a 30 second refreshing JPEG out of that camera. That means that every 30 seconds, there was a stills image, no video at all, and no audio. But over time, what we began to do is focus more and more on trying to develop this concept of giving people the opportunity to go on safari. And that became our focus. And to some extent, the webcam became less and less part of what we did. But it was still super important so many of our viewers want to stay connected to Juma and to this place and these animals 24 hours a day. Over the years with this camera, we've had all sorts of technical problems. Most of them caused by various, you know, unknown things that just kind of happen with equipment that's out in the African bush. You know, it just keeps you on your toes. It's never been boring. It's 20... One years. 21 years now, and there's still new stuff happening all the time. This is unscripted. Nothing happens for a long time, well then nothing's happening for a long time, and then what happens is life. Even though we live just 500 meters up this hill, we still put the camera on to see what's happening. Absolutely, we watch it <laughs> ourselves. <laughs> We now find ourselves in a situation where we've got fiber optic cable down there, broadband internet access that can get the stream out. We've upgraded to high definition. We've used infrared at night. We've got a beautiful picture with great sound nowadays. And I'm sure that one day we'll see it developing into a 4K camera with a 40 times zoom and maybe even more than that. One thing for sure is we haven't seen the best out of this camera yet. Are you addicted to Africa? Well, click subscribe and you can stay hooked on all the wild moments. If you still can't get enough, click on the little bell and you'll be notified for your daily dose of live safari.